Hello again everyone, it's Dave from Medimatch. In my last video we went through the download and the installation of the MedLink software along with the MedLink account creation. In this video we're going to take a closer look at the user interface of the MedLink software itself. Okay, so we've, uh, we've logged in and we've got our blank case box here. So we'll start at the top and work our way down these icons. So on the dashboard this gives us a brief overview of our scanner and what's what's been going on in terms of scanning times and storage and how many cases we've shipped. So I have had a scanner plugged into this machine before so it's given me usage statistics on how long the scanner has been used for, the calibration frequency, how many days since the calibration was last done. Up here you get your cloud storage. So you get this free, 5 terabytes. I believe you can up that to, I can't remember if it's 10 terabytes or 20 terabytes for a very small uh, monthly fee. The statistics over here show your scanning times, how many cases you've scanned, total orders, that sort of thing. This shows you how many cases you've got pending, how many you've been had accepted by the lab, how many have been shipped and how many are completed. This graph shows you the total cases, scanning times, so it gives you a, a visual representation of how frequently your scan is being used. And then down here it tells you, tells you the, the main restoration types or the main order types that you're making. Okay, so the case box, this is your main source of inbox really. Every time we create a new case it will ask us to put in the patient details. So we'll end up with a long list here of patient names and, and, their prescri and what, what the lab order form says essentially. We'll look at the case creation and the lab order form in the next video. So the order box, this contains only jobs that you've ordered and sent to the lab. So the case box will, will contain jobs at any stage, whether they've been scanned or whether they're only a form or ordered, they'll all be in this list here. But in the order box, there'll only be jobs that have been ordered. So once you click order on a job, it will originally go to pending. So you'll have the case here and the next to it will say pending. Once the lab has seen it and they accept it, it will go to accepted or rejected if they reject it and then it can go to shipped and, and case completed. So you can, you can at a glance see what's going on with your jobs and keep track of them uh, with the various labs they're with. Case Talk is a really nice feature. It allows you to have a, to, to share the scan data with another person. So that may be the patient or another dentist. You can set up a live browser on here and then invite them to join you. So you can, they can see the, the 3D model maybe on their mobile phone and you can be zooming in on your screen and it'll be zooming in on their screen at the same time. So it's a really nice way of being able to have almost like a virtual consultation. It's also you can also use it to just send the patient a link to their scan to an email address or a mobile phone, which is an, again a really nice feature. The app box we will cover some of these apps in in future videos, but just to say they have the Medit Model Builder. We've got the Medit Compare app, which is a really nice app. This allows you to take two scans and overlay them and compare the differences. For instance, if you've got a patient who's grinding their teeth a lot. You're telling them they're grinding their teeth a lot and you can, can overlay their scan from today and their scan from six months ago and show them visually how, how much tooth, uh, tooth loss they've, uh, they've had. We've also got the Medit Smile Design app and the Ortho Simulation apps. And we've also got the Medit Crown Fit app as well down here. Again, we'll, we'll look at some of these in more detail in future videos. The trash box just contains any, any cases that you've deleted. Settings, so you've got general settings here. I won't go into too much de detail into these, but you've got things like the save path uh, when you when you save the scan data, where does it go to? Tooth notation. Storage management gives you an overview of how much disk space you've got left. Connected programs, if you want to output for a specific um, CAD program, e.g. ExoCAD, um, you, can, you can click that in here and do that. Export options, as it suggests, allows you to change which formats the files are exported in when you click the export button. Case converting tool allows you to compile multiple files, multiple patient scans and, and put them into one folder so you can store them or you can send them to somebody or, or whatever you want to do with them. But it's a way of backing up data into, into one single file. We'll leave the proxy option for now. Go to close. 
So up here it shows you your network speed. The you can use the offline mode here, so you can if you don't have an internet connection or you don't have a very stable connection, you can always work in off offline mode, create cases, you can do your scanning, and then you can log on at a later date online and upload all the data to the cloud and send all your jobs off to the lab. So you don't need to have a, a live internet connection at the point of scanning. Okay, so moving on down here, this is how you set uh, and edit patient options. We'll look at that later in the next video. Um, these are the announcements. If you miss the announcements at the beginning, you can bring them up here by, by clicking it again. It gives you all the recent announcements. This is a very important one. This is your home button. This opens up your cloud account in a web browser. Okay, so again, it gives you the latest notifications. You can just close them. Okay, so you can see this is our case box, but this is the the uh, cloud version. So this is online. Just to switch back, this is the software version. We'll go back to the cloud. So it's very similar: dashboard, case board, case talk. No order box, but we have got a partners tab here. Now the partners tab, if we click on it, it allows you to search for any lab in the area, well, in the, in the world, who has got uh, the MedicLink software. If they don't have the software, you can click invite partner, put in their email address, and it'll send them a link to download the software on part and pair with you automatically. Featured partners is quite nice. It shows you within a selected radius of the labs around you who have the software and are ready to accept your scans. And my partner list shows you your active partners. So I don't have, we don't have any at the moment. They'll say pending here. When we have someone, we can accept or request them if someone asks us to join them. And once that, once they've joined with you, it'll be in the partnership, and you'll have a list of your of your labs that you're partnered with here. Okay, let's go back to the software for now. Okay, okay. I think that's everything for this video now. In the next video, we'll be covering case creation and launching the Medit Scan for Clinic software for the first time, and along with the order form as well, how to fill out the lab order form. Okay, until then, I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, please go to medimatch.co.uk for all your Medit scanning information. Thanks for watching.